You say you to either of these bartenders one more time. I will embarrass you. Ass. And I'll tell you one thing, you take one drink, I'll fire you in front of everyone! You hear me? Loser. You take another drink, I'll fire your ass in front of your brothers! That's the deal! Who the are you talking to? I'm talking to you! Joining John for Recon is Grammy Award-winning artist T-Pain. With over 15 years in the music industry, he has a history of investing in unique startups around the country. T-Pain possesses a sixth sense to help unearth the problems haunting Sacktown. So look at this, this is Old Town Sacramento. About 3.9 million tourists come here, spend almost $4 billion a year. Oh, wow. The bar we're going to is called Sacktown. This is it, man. You're looking at it. So this bar was opened by Chris three years ago. OK. I love you guys like a third cousin. He opens up the sports bar. They now have about 300,000 dollars into it. Guy's losing eight grand a month. Oh. And he has enough money to make it about two months. Oh. So here's what I did. I got about 40 people mm. just standing around a corner. OK. We're going to put on these hats. Oh, we're going to add spy style. We're going to walk in that line, incognito. Yeah. And let's experience this place from the inside. All right, cool. Go. Cool. I'm following you. John and I are going to do recon together. I think it's going to be great. I have no fears, except for, you know, raw food. Not real good with raw food. Not looking forward to that part. But let's do it. Just, get, just go in? Like nothing ever happens. Come on in. Kind of just got uh, crowded. Welcome to our very quiet bar. Thank you. Yeah. We'll be right with you guys. Big place. It is huge. Sacktown, a 9,600 square foot space, is divided into two large upstairs rooms. One uses a main dining room, the other holding a large bar with three wells, 40 taps, and tabletop seating. Below the main level is the kitchen, haunted by the spirits of old Sacramento. You know what's interesting? This is old historic Sacramento. Right. This is sort of an historic looking building. Absolutely. Look at all this sports memorabilia. Sports yeah. bar is the most popular concept in America. Right. There's right. thousands of them in every it's city. Right. Yeah. So if this is a tourist neighborhood, and if you came here with your family, you'd want to do stuff that was indigenous to here, right? You're in a historic Absolutely. neighborhood. No question. Yeah, I want to see all Sacramento stuff. Hey, guys. What do you want to try, buddy? Want to try the wings? Sure. Definitely want to try the New York steak. A uh, French dip as well. Yeah. What's your favorite drink? I see the, the sneak pitch, and there's another one, Jolly Rancher, are the popular one. Okay. Should we try one of each? See if we yeah, like him? I'm down with that. All right. Did you know that T Pain was here? Where? <laughs> he came with John Taffer. Uh, stop. He is. He's right there. I see him. Wait, my, 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 Who wants to eat a sandwich like this? It's not melted for shit. Did you serve it? Ricardo brought it up to me. Like, I already knew no one wants to eat it. I don't want everybody so freaked out. Guys, no, they don't want to eat this. It's not melted enough. They need it melted. Let's make it again. Make a new one. It's boosted, man. All right. I'm this. Well, you seem flustered, but. It's not funny, bro. I'm very frustrated. When I partnered up with Chris, Crystal was the kitchen manager that Chris already had here in place. But she's not cutting it, man. It's a grill. She's something so simple, my kid can do it. All right, that's the New York steak. Oh, OK. And that's the French dip. That's very popular here. All right. We should probably toast before we eat this. Yeah. Because we may never live to Absolutely. toast again. It was good knowing you, man. <laughs> What's in this? <laughs> John, I can't lie, man. I think I'm drunk. Oh my God. I was expecting a completely different taste, and it was just mostly alcohol. And at that point, I can be drunk really quickly. Does that look good to you? I think they could have brought in just a live cow and put it on the table, and I think it would have been about in the same area. Look at this taste. <laughs> mm. I don't recommend the food. You don't? You don't recommend the food. How come? What did you have? So it's sort of like this one. 
you gotta do. Oh, come on, Doc. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is not what a French dip is. Oh, you gotta stop this. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Dr. Wink's here. Yeah, I want to tell you now, John. I'm serious about my wings. I'm very serious about my wings. If these wings are wrong, we may have to leave. <laughs> Let's see what you got, man. Let's see what you got. Man, I don't know how they're going to spin that. The wings came undercooked. The skin was rubbery. It wasn't breaking off. It wasn't a pleasant thing to have in your hand. Can I ask yep. you a question? Sure. Is there a cook or a kitchen manager or something? I do, yeah. Let me take that to show then and... No, leave this here mm -hmm. and have him come up. Okay, okay. I'll be right back. Yeah, that'll, be, that'll be the better part. Ricardo. Yes, sir. A table's looking for you. What table? And it's that guy. The guy? That guy. How you doing? Not too bad. Would you want to eat that? No, sir. Would you want to eat that? No, sir. Why not? It doesn't look appealing. It doesn't look appetizing. Where's Chris, the owner? Is the owner here? Yes, he's here. This is not the experience I wanted John to have tonight. Dude, this is embarrassing. What? He's there, bro. Huh? He's sitting right there. Who is? John Taffer. Where? Are you serious, Chris? <laughs> really? Are you that <laughs> Oh, my god. Oh, crap. Here we go. So I thought to myself, for recon, who do I know that spends a lot of time on the road, that no bars, no good food? So I got Ryan Reeves, Nate Smith, two of my favorite hockey players in the world. These guys tour major cities, mm -hmm. go to the best venues. They're always treated incredibly well. They're VIPs. And Ryan is even a part owner in 7-5 Brewing Company, so he really knows his stuff. Here's some of our cocktails we have here. Thanks. All right. I'm going to get out of my comfort zone here. <laughs> Me too. I'm in, I think I'm in it, too. I mean, I'll try this huckleberry limeade. Huckleberry limeade? Yeah. And I think is, I'm it, gonna... is it good? It's good. You wouldn't yeah. lie to me, would you? I wouldn't yeah. lie to you. Okay. All right. I think I'll, I'll take a kiss me then. And a kiss me. <laughs> That's definitely outside my comfort zone. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you when I get out of here, I guess. So there's Brandon. He appears to be in some kind of crisis management, doesn't he? What could possibly be going on with six customers or so in this bar? Uh that would have him in the office at that time doing that. A real owner is gonna be out there talking to their guests, talking to their people. He can go talk to Ryan and Nate, make them feel welcome in, inside the bar. That's all they're really looking for. What's this, that's me? Oh, sweet. Oh, that's sweet. It's like, like sugar cubes. Like a fun dip? Yeah. <laughs> What's in that? Whipped cream. Oh, okay. oh yeah. There's whipped cream, cream in that? Yeah, there's oh, whipped cream. Oh, I can't wait to see uh, this. Do we not have any whipped cream? No, we don't, we don't have any. No whipped cream. Why would they be out of whipped cream in a can? You put a can in the fridge, it stays there for months. What? It's not like they have to buy it every week or rotate it. You'd think if they have a drink with whipped cream, that would be one product that they would have plenty of in the fridge. Exactly. Try that. All if you right. don't like it, let me know. Imagine it with the whipped cream. Yeah. Ah, imagine it with it. Oh, boy. Um, Not bad? Uh, is there a margarita on the on the possibility? You want a margarita? Yeah. yeah. Can I actually do a margarita, too? Yeah, two margaritas? Yeah, yeah. Thank, you. thank you. Maybe that's where the time for two comes from. The first drink sucks, mm. so it's time for two. It's time for two. Okay, what kind of mixer is that? So is that a plastic cup? They don't even have proper tools back there. That's an old-style martini cup. It has a strainer built into the lid. Look at how little it's filled the glass. Oh, and then she's adding ice after. How's that working out, Phil? It's horrible. Now she's adding more mix because yeah. she has to fill it up. By not measuring properly, there's no way this is going to be a balanced cocktail. We do uh, order the wings, the tenders, and the wedges. What's the point of shaking it if you're going to pour more mix in when you're done? What's the point? Cheers, big fella. Cheers. It's pretty sweet. Sweet. I don't like mine kind of spicy. And there is a very small, almost residential deep fryer. Right, something that you can have in your own kitchen at home. But a deep fryer like that, you put more than six or seven wings in that thing, the temperature drops right away. Right. You can't cook in a commercial environment with that thing, Phil. No way. You see any gloves anywhere? I see zero gloves. I was just about to say that. So is a bartender trained in kitchen sanitation? Come on. This is a completely different discipline. Bartenders make drinks. Sure. 
kitchen personnel are trained to run the kitchen. Do you think that she has any idea how to work in the kitchen? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And where the hell is Brandon in all of this? It looks like he's still screwing around in his office. I mean, that's just absolutely insane. Yeah. Are we? I'm going to dive into this little guy right here. Look at his face. <laughs> Super, 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 super. Phil, the food is absolutely terrible. There's not enough customers in here, right? We're not going to learn much about the bartenders watching this. What about if you go in? I want to see if the bartenders react to you well, right? Can yeah. you make it for you? We'll at least know where they stand, and then we can deal with it then. Let me go see what these guys are working with in there, John. Great. All Let's right. give it to them, buddy. All right. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. What's up? I'm Phil. I'm good. How, How you doing? doing? What's your name? Anthony. 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 Yes. Sir. What's your name? Amanda. Amanda. Nice to meet you. My two friends right here, they have margaritas. Yes. I want to see how you guys make those margaritas. Okay. okay. Because I do know that Trina made them wrong. Okay. So I want to see how you guys make them. We have margarita glasses. What's the size of those margarita glasses? Do we know? I don't, I don't know the size no? of those. Okay. No. We don't have free pour, so it's kind of, it's, I've never been trained on it. Let's make this margarita. Okay. Let's taste it. One, two, three. Now I'm Holy making shit, both of them at the same time. I'm making them. Let's pour that drink. What are we doing? Oh. Oh, this takes forever. What is this? Whoa. Okay. We always use the ice. Go ahead. We have. Do, do your thing. So. So you made two drinks in one, right? You will. I tried to. I can't watch this anymore. Oh, Look at those chicken wings. Aren't they all supposed to be one color? One side shouldn't be darker than the other. Now, sure, the chef. That could be the frost bit part of the chicken burning quicker than the rest of the bird. John, just looking at this, there's not a leader, there's not a manager, there's nobody teaching them, and this is kind of like, no, they're not going to notice. Send it out anyways, right? Look at the pole. <laughs> Look at the pole. <laughs> How is she eating that? Oh. No! Look at the long chew. Still chewing. It's not a bubblegum commercial. Still here, chewing. Man. We should have had a swallow if it was a decent <laughs> wing. No swallow. Still <laughs> chewing. Then the forced swallow. Oh. I don't have to taste that chicken wing to know it sucks. There's the Berg system, oh, oh which we have in Utah. Now, that Berg measures an ounce and a half. Now, look at that cocktail. You got an ounce and a half of liquor and about 28 ounces of mix. How does that work for you, Rob? Terrible. I mean, you get so filled up on all those mixes, it's terrible. Due to Utah's strict alcohol laws, only allowing 1.5 ounces of any given spirit per drink, making a cocktail in the wrong glass will require more liquid to fill it to the top, thus diluting the flavor and lessening the drink's quality. Makes absolutely no sense. Why use a glass that you don't fill? Right. No, I don't know. So, guys, this is a big bar. Okay. We've seen that their food isn't quite up to snuff, right? Mm -hmm. We're not sure they know how to cook properly. The drinks are awful. We can see that. Yeah. There's a lack of training. We don't see Bill engaged at all. But we can't see much more. This place is so big, and there's only, like, five customers in there. So I did something tonight for recon, guys. I got 50 people for recon. 50. I want to see what Bill does. Does Bill move quick when a bar is busy? Does he interact with his kitchen when it's busy? Sure. Does he check his ticket times? Is Bill, in fact, engaged in this operation? I want to see if Bill jumps behind the bar, don't you? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. But she waited a long time and didn't even get food. That bugs me. I'd like the two of you guys to go up to the front of that line. Is everybody thirsty? Oh, yeah. Yeah walk all those 50 people in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys earpieces. Rob, if you can hear me, touch your nose. T-Bear, do we have anybody working the door? Oh, my god. And now I have to go down here for ice. The bartender's, the bartender's already getting mad right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Raise your hand and sort of ask for a drink aggressively, if you don't mind. We get two bottles? We get two. This guy is such an ass. I need the screwdriver. Can we get a beer here? Yeah. Yeah. Give me one second. I'll 
Uh, stuff your the face. Right shirt, so instead of getting a beer, they both walk in the back. Can you do a mule? Yeah, what okay. kind? Like a, a, a whiskey mule? Sure. What's up, bro? Where's my hug? <laughs> Good seeing you, brother. Look at this. Oh, uh, look at manager boy. Our boy over is hugging people, but he's not helping the bar. Tea bear, I need raspberry vodka. Hey, you're hugging people. Can I hug you? I, mean, I, shit, I don't see you do anything else, so I might as well hug you. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Is this your hug? This is mine. I'm Bill. Bill? Yeah. Owner? Meeting you. Hey, I'm Rob. So this is yours? Yes. Yeah, well, it owns me right now. But... We owe you, but you have a lot of people that are waiting on drinks. You make drinks? Can you make drinks? I can make shots. So you don't know how to make drinks? You don't know how to make drinks? I'm very Ill, Ill prepared for behind the bar. You're ill prepared That's for behind the bar? That's something I'm working on, yeah. But you yeah. own the bar? Yes. But you can't make drinks? Uh, I can make some How drinks. long have you owned the bar? Two years. When do you think it's time to learn to make drinks? Do you think it's time to maybe learn Probably. to make drinks? Yeah. How do you manage cocktails if you don't know how to make them? Um, I've relied on the expertise of other people. And no, I am uh, I've, one of the reasons. Was that bad? Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, There's no expertise. This drink sucks. It's my problem. Yeah. I get it. Well, if it's all because of Bill, I'm going to talk to Bill. I'm going to go check the kitchen, because that yeah. tastes like shit. Well, Mr. Tapper, I go. I have a guy in here who's apparently a nice guy. Yes. But you're not a nice guy when you take three hundred thousand dollars from your in-laws and do nothing to pay it back. That's fair. Are you? That's fair. If I owed my in-laws three hundred thousand dollars, I'd learn how to make a drink. Yeah, that's fair. How come you didn't? You I have no money? excuse. None whatsoever. So no. are you a failure? Fair. No. Well, you're failing that's, that's here. Why I called you guys? That's, oh, so I'm supposed to solve your problem that for two I, years you didn't learn a freaking thing? I need a direction. That's you need a direction. Need. Here's your direction. Learn! So here's my thought. I'd love you guys to go inside, get a feel for the place, and find Sean for me. I want to get the story from Sean, and then I'm going to get Mike, and I'm going to get the story from Kevin. I want to see if I get the same story. This place is massive. The first thing I notice is it's like a country bar with a bull with some bullshit in the corner, and it was just enormous and ugly. Are you Sean? Right yeah, but John Tapper's outside. He wants to talk to you right now. Okay. okay. Can I get a watermelon breeze? Yeah, I'll do a beach cucumber. All right. Should we get nachos? Yeah. I feel like you judge a place on the nachos. Sean. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I wanted to bring you out here and get the story from you. So when did you open this? Late summer of 2017. Did you bring in investors? I brought in investors, but we ended up running out of money. So what did you do to get the money? I went back to the investment group. They would put in an additional $60,000, but if we defaulted, that I would lose my shares. So what happened to the $60,000 note? <sighs> I lost it. But they decided I would back away in exchange for 10% remaining equity. So legally right now, do you own 10% of this bar or not? Is absolutely I do. Mike's interpretation is absolutely I don't. Do you get along with your partner? No. Pulling a salary? No. So my question to you is, can you turn this around? I believe that I could do this. I know I can. The problem is, is Mike. All right, Sean, why don't you go back and go to work? Thank you. Sean called me to rescue this bar, but Mike disputes whether Sean even owns any of this bar. I can't understand who's an owner and who's not. Are you Mike? Yes, sir. Uh, John Tapper's outside. He'd like to discreetly speak with you. Okay. You can go outside for me. So I'm going to go talk to Mike and try to hear his side of the story. Are you going to go first? <laughs> oh my God. There's just all sour mix. Thank you. Thank you. How do these nachos look? Well, oh, this cheese is legit cold, and it's like thick, and it's almost grainy. Oh, it's so salty. I never thought you could f 
of nachos, but they've successfully screwed up the nachos. Pleasure. Likewise. Fill me in on this. Were you an investor when this opened two years ago originally? Yes. There were six of us originally. He and who was running it? Sean. He okay. had full control. He was in charge of the checkbook. He was in charge of everything that happened. Gotcha. So Sean put the deal together. Yes. Went to you guys. Correct. Now, is there a deal that he gave up his equity or anything? Yeah, he, he, Tell me that. On the $60,000 loan we gave him, he signed a note guaranteeing he would pay back the sixty grand within a year plus interest. He never made one payment. Our note said if you don't make one payment, you default on 100% of your shares. So now he defaults. So now you guys own 100% of the 100%. business. Sean put a lot of sweat and time in here, so we didn't want to take everything, so we offered to leave him 10%. You know, trying to be generous, okay. and, uh, Sean wouldn't sign it. To this day, he has not signed it. So he owns he was, nothing? He owns zero. And is he getting paid? Yes, I'm paying him. So he told me that he hasn't gotten paid for a year. Is that right? No. So who owns it now? Me. You own 100% of yes. it? Yes. Because he just told me he owns 10% of this bar. Yeah, he tells me I own 10%. I said, Sean, you never signed shit. He goes, I disagree, I signed it. But you never gave it back to us. He likes walking around, acting like he's the owner. We have to clear this up, do you agree? 100%. I'd like him to see us walk in together so he understands we talked. Okay. Okay, I've heard both sides of this story, and Sean's side of the story is not adding up. I don't think he owns any of this bar. So I've got to resolve this issue between him and Mike before I can even begin rescuing it. Are you kidding me? I sat with you and heard a story from you. Yeah. I then sat with Mike and heard a completely different story. Do you own this bar? Yes, I do. You don't own shit, Sean. I do. I have the paperwork to prove it. That's you have all. executed paperwork? Yes. That says you own 10% of this yes, bar? Yes, absolutely. He doesn't have shit. I've got it in my truck right now. You can take a look at it, John. Go get it. Let's go. No, it's 100% bullshit. I'm John Kenny. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Question. Yes, sir. How many times do you hear him say he owns the place? Every single day. But he doesn't have that authority, does he? No. What do you got? Right here. Show me an executed document. My signature, my former partner's signature, their managing member's signature. We've never gotten that. We've never gotten that back. This is the only two signatures are ever on that. It's the first time I've ever seen Sean's signature on there. This is the one that says you still have 10% ownership of the business. That's it's not true. If you refuse to I sign it. Bullshit. I never was given that until did you, ever get, did you ever give this back to anyone? I didn't get that until Did you give this back to you anyone of us? You gave it to us? me seven months later. Did you you can't How long have you been here? Bark to me about How long have you been friends? here? Doesn't matter. Did you ever give this back to us? There did was you never ever, anything. Did well, you show ever, me where it has a time frame. Yes or no? Show did you ever give it back to him? No. My attorney told me to hold on to it. So then they never got an executed document from you? They did know that it was executed. They did know it was signed. If they didn't get an executed document from your attorney, then the contract is enclosed, right? They, they knew that it was negative. They Sean, listen to me. If your attorney never sent back an executed copy, is it valid? Is an unexecuted document valid? Yes or no? No. So then, therefore, is it valid? I guess not. So you don't own shit! DJ bought this bar five years ago. Now he's losing over 5000 a month. He's 180000 in debt now. He has about enough money, if he's lucky, to make it about six months. And then he's done. And here's the worst part. DJ has a daughter named Leia. And Leia is 10 years old. DJ wants nothing more than to pass this business on to his daughter. DJ's ex-wife, Tammy, owns half the bar. And word has it she doesn't come around much anymore because DJ doesn't allow her to take ownership of anything. Could you imagine owning a bar 50-50 with your ex-husband? I cannot. Um, here's fries, but they put cheese on them. So there's Tommy. Tommy's the bar manager. Yeah, I've never made this, or at least I don't remember it. There's Trina. Trina's a bartender. A wet There's Victoria, Amy. I need a drink. Another bartender. Where's this go? Uh, to Tommy. To Tommy? Come yeah. On. There's Roxy. She's a waitress. There's Heather, a waitress. OK, got it. And there's James, chef. He's your cook. Yes, sir. Can we get another one? Yes, sir. Oh, so here we go. 
Can you manage a poor that way? No. How does he make money here? Well, it's obvious overpouring is an issue, but DJ wouldn't know that because he's not here. Where the hell is he? Look at this place. It's pretty big. Yeah, it's a clientele is odd. So you notice there's no single girls there. So Amy, have you ever seen a nightclub without women succeed? No. So we're looking at a decent bar at a decent location with a decent outside, with a decent floor plan that doesn't look so terrible when we look at it here. Where the hell is it failing? When everything else is decent, yeah. then the human factor's not. Right. right. So this has to be a bar plagued by leadership issues. Yeah. What I'd like to do is I'd like to send you in alone to do recon, Amy. <laughs> I'd love you to sit at the bar. OK. Order a drink. Mm -hmm. Order some food. And let's see, do the employees pay attention to you or not? Do they make you as a woman feel important there or not? Yeah. Because if it doesn't feel right, we got to start there. OK. Now, if you own this bar and Amy came in alone, wouldn't you go out of your way to make sure she felt comfortable? Yeah, I would. I would. It makes perfect sense why you would. She's a single girl. That draws in the men. I would especially make sure she felt comfortable. 20 Amy's. Yeah. And we're good to go. We have 80 men. 20 Absolutely. Amy's, you know? Or she's like the perfect, perfect customer. Perfect, right? Yeah, how can I help you? <laughs> menu. Um, let me see if I have one back here. So Amy looks like she's sort of fit. She could yeah, be just yeah. another customer. Local? No, no drink. Oh, OK. You don't have a drink menu? No, no drink. Can you make, like, um, like a Manhattan? I don't have sweet remove. We got cocktails that are really not targeting women at all. Is this the anti-girl bar? <laughs> and this is doomed to get women in the door. Can I get a gimlet? A gimlet? Yeah. Gimlet is a two-ingredient yeah. drink. As simple as it gets. A gimlet is just vodka and lemon juice, right? Um, it's very nice. DA, what's a gimlet again? Huh? A gimlet? Or a gimlet? Gimlet? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, I don't know how to make a yeah. gimlet. Look it up. That's what I do if I can't remember. DJ doesn't know. Now, this is the third employee involved in this gimlet, Jason. Oh, so you don't put soda in a gimlet. It. I want to get something to eat, too. What do you recommend? Um, I like the wings. Cool. I'll get the wings. OK. <laughs> oh, my god. So strong. They have no idea what they're doing. And DJ is just back in the kitchen playing with limes. Do you see any cooking equipment? I don't. All there is is the cheap, tiny little yeah. deep fryer. This is a big space. So they got that big bar and the big nightclub. And that's the only piece of cooking equipment. So Jason, what would happen if they ordered three items at the same time? They'd have to make them one at a time, and people would be waiting a very long time for their food. these chicken wings, it looks like in a, in a pail, and he's swirling around, and one wing just flipped up onto the floor. I think these are going to be Amy's wings, too. Well, I guess wings are supposed to fly, right? Yeah. So now we have nachos. I can look at this food and tell that in the kitchen, they don't give a damn. What are they doing, chef? I, you would think they're splitting the atom with how much work they're putting into this. Look at the cutting board, chef. Cutting board, no gloves. There's raw chicken on his cutting board with his knife, with All his All over towel. his hands. All over the handle. Oh, my god. I'm curious where his hands go next. So he's touching chips now with his raw chicken and beef hands. Covered in chicken. And this is all happening right in front of DJ. Oh, man. OK, now he's got chicken all uh, over everything. This is actually yours, so your chicken nachos. Chicken nachos? Uh-huh. He's sending out raw food with that. We got to stop this, chef. I've never done it. Um, I mean, I could probably figure it out. How are you no. good at running this place? No. How come? <laughs> For a number of things. One, she doesn't know anything about a bar. Does she drink in there? Oh, yeah. I need a drink. <sighs> hey, Bobby, can I have a shot? Super so, shit show when uh, she's drinking. Does Patty have a day job? Yes, what she's a real she estate. So she sells real estate by the daytime and comes in as far at night. 
sometimes. All right, I'm gonna put my water by yours. So there's Adam with Patty. Mm -hmm. So Adam is Patty's husband. Correct. Got some nachos there. So there's Randy running food, isn't he? Yep. Is Randy involved in the business? You guys need anything? I could use another shot when you get a chance. He didn't in that first, but when I ask him to do something, he's the guy that will get it done. Really? But Patty's standing there having a drink. I'm just, I'm just here having a drinky. <laughs> so if you own this bar, would you let her run it? No. Really? I'm not kidding. What are you drinking? What does uh -huh. Bobby do? She's my bartender. And is she a good bartender? I wasn't able to train her. Can you get a minute? Will you give me? Mike, do you know where the good things are? Reach around you, sweetie. You're talking to me about Mike. He's my security guard. He can handle a situation and still be chill. Ooh, no, you didn't. So Mike's a good man. Yes. Gina? So Randy's running food to tables. Mm -hmm. This is our first run. <laughs> Are we doing deep boats for the cheese? Uh, yes, big as we got. We haven't had food in the bar for like two and a half months. Wow. You getting your system, Brandon? Randy, he just found Brandon because he's tired of not having or making any cells. Randy made it happen. People can't stay that long without any food. No. They come, they have a drink or two, and then they leave. Mike, yes. who do these go to? That table right there, black hat. Look at this. Look at the look on her face. She doesn't know where she's going. Ow. So they don't have table numbers or anything? They don't know where the food goes? So unorganized. OK, so help me understand. Mm -hmm. So Randy bought the building. Correct. And the business, and then mm -hmm. brought in Patty. And I understand okay. they're 50-50 yes. partners. Yeah. OK, so how much is there friction between Patty and Randy? A lot. Feel it when you're in mm -hmm. there? It's what is it over? Human. He doesn't care that she drinks, but it's the amount she drinks and how she's stumbling and all over the place. So what does he do about it? He doesn't know what to do. Me and Randy are a lot alike in a lot of ways. We don't like conflict. Hey, Brenna. We're going to step back because we don't want the conflict. I have to work there. I need this job. I have four children. So when Patty comes in and gets drunk behind the bar, that hurts you, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, it's bright in here. Yeah. So we have a couple of radio stars here in town mm -hmm. to come in and do recon for me. I've got Bill Allred and Gina Barbary. Oh, wow. They could go on a radio and fill this place if they want to in a heartbeat, mm -hmm. couldn't they? Mm -hmm. Hey, how y'all doing? IDs? What happens when new customers come in? We ID them. Regardless of the age of the person. 35 and older. The R bar, we scan everybody. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hi. What are we drinking? Somebody was telling me about some kind of marijuana drink or a something. A liquid marijuana? I'll have a margarita. A margarita? OK. A liquid marijuana? Um, there is no actual marijuana. Look at the color of that drink. You can see how dark green that cocktail is. Okay. Is that the right color? No? Uh -oh. Let's see what he thinks of that. Uh, look at him. He's all puckery. Mm -hmm. It's really sweet. Cocktail's too sweet. You can't drink it, can you? Mm -mm. It's got to be balanced. Correct. There's her margarita. Does a margarita go in a pint glass? Mm -mm. It's an anemic lime. I want to see if Patty gets involved in all this right now. What she's doing is drinking and laughing. I just sit here and hold the door. <laughs> And I look at a Patty who's not cleaning anything and is drinking behind the bar. And I look at these things, I don't understand. She doesn't. It, it seems to me that you care more than she does. I do. Why do you work in this bar? <laughs> you love it here? Mm -hmm. It's my bar. It's I your know. life. Yeah. All your friends. Yeah. Years of your life you put into this. Your I know. Does it anger you that yeah. you're letting it go down the toilet like this? Mm hmm. Because you're upset right now. Yeah. She's not. What would you like? I want some nachos. I would also like a hamburger. What do you want? Uh, the chicken strips and fries. OK. OK. All right. Let's take a look in the kitchen. Well, he's never done this before. So what do you see? Anything that has no gloves on his hands? No, nope, there's no gloves. So do you know what it's like for a place to be clean? Or mm -hmm. for it to be right? Do you think this bar is clean? No. It's complete shit hole, isn't mm -hmm. it? That's his nacho cheese. Look at the sides of it all brown. You see the chunks in it? Those are chunks of burnt cheese. cheese and that's not even real cheese. That's no, mostly oils. You just see that? That's fake cheese. Yeah. That's the cheapest of the cheap. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you a question. You know how to run a kitchen. You know that the bar should be clean and organized. Mm -hmm. Why won't they let you manage? Because they have to be in charge. She has to be in charge all times. Regardless of your experience? Correct. It's been almost a half an hour. We're on it. We got one cook. I apologize, so, okay. but we're on it. All right. The nachos, mm -hmm. which should come out in five minutes. I need a shot. 
Oh my gosh. On telling me to have a shot. That or I'll cry. So a shot of tequila or meltdown. All right, thank you. Thank you, folks. Thanks. Can't wait till you taste the burger. Mm. Terrible. Yeah. I mean, I'm only eating these fries because I'm starving, but they're not very good. I don't know how you call those nachos. It's close to over, Sarah. Right. I know. I want you to walk in with me. I want to confront her. Come on, let's see what's going on. I am going to sit and have a drinky drink. This is Mr. Yard. Mm -hmm. I seen John walk in the door, and I'm like, got your ID on you? Do I look under 35 to you? <laughs> Can I have your ID, please? Thank you. It's a nice looking bar. So I like the colors. You know, I think the black and red is pretty cool. It's black and burgundy. But I opened Saints. One of the first times Rob came and seen me play, I was playing for Saints. So that was where the color scheme oh, okay. came from. So connected back to Rob. Yeah. Wow. So I want to hear about Rob. Yeah. I ain't going to lie to you. It's, a, it's, it's more of a, uh, a touchy subject with that. I mean, you know, I just. It's just my brother. Just from shit as, a, as early as I could remember, opening my eyes, he'd been in my life. And, uh, you know, it was taken away from me. Uh, just the impact that he left on my life. Uh, the name of the restaurant is just in honor of him. So he's been a large inspiration in your life? Facts. We got his older brother that's working in there, too. Wow. Yeah. So his family is in there with your family? Oh, most definitely. As it should be. Yeah. I don't even need to hear no shit about your ass. So who's that? <laughs> OK, that's my, that's my auntie Shani. She was here with the previous owner. So she was the one who talked you into it, so yeah. to speak. Right. I got roses for my hoses. That's my cousin Face. What does he do? Run my butt, kid. He bartends, too. OK. Who's that? <laughs> That's my big brother. <laughs> That's your big brother. The hell is what, he doing? What's his name? <laughs> That's Dave. So tonight is ladies' night. It is. This is what he does. He dances to every lady. I guess so. Yes. Happy ladies' night. Happy ladies' night at Robin's. So who's cooking now? Auntie Keisha had up the kitchen, but she had a sick, so. Oh. Right now, we got Rob Elder's brother, Ralph. Hey, what y'all doing up there, man? We trying to sell it. Mm -hmm. And then you got my uncle, to know it. Sell chicken. Like I said, Auntie Keisha not here, but I mean, I feel she's more of a drill sergeant. OK. I want y'all to be yourselves, OK? Because y'all all over the place right now. Hey, can I order something? <laughs> Try and catch him when he's not busy. Dude, yeah. oh, no. he's nice. drinking behind the bar. Is that cool? Who this guy? Somebody back there don't give a Can I get a drink? Can I go into your cellars? Can I get a cellar too? What can I get you? Um, do you have a salad with grilled chicken? Let me check, let me check, I got you, let me check, let me check, I got you, I got you, hold on. You think you would know that? You got a chicken salad, and I okay. can tell him grill it. Can you do grilled chicken yeah. on the salad? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you got a chicken yes, salad? Where do you see a chicken salad at? Now, did they have a chicken breast in there? We don't have a chicken salad. From what I just heard, we don't. We don't have a chicken salad. I wonder if that was echoed back to her. Let's see what happens. Do you mind checking on our food? We should be coming up next. Unfortunately, they don't have any more salad. No salad. No salad at all. Uh, my mom ordered the fish, but I was thinking chicken. This is pretty simple. So they couldn't pull off a salad with chicken. Right. And they're still dealing with this. Meanwhile, this person ordered this like 10 minutes ago. Right. And they still haven't solved it. Mm-hmm. So now they're just that putting That was 10 the minutes ago when they knew that they didn't have the right. grilled chicken. So they're reacting too late. Right. And nobody's communicating with each other. Mm-hmm. So what's this? It's a long guy out. Want me to pour it out? You can drink it. I'll pour it out, yeah. I don't want it. Right. So when this bar is this full, you'd think you'd be making money right now, wouldn't you? Hell yeah. What if I told you you weren't? Then I would want to look and see how many people in there ordering. So what I did is I sent somebody in here called Partender. Mm -hmm. What they do is they go behind your bar, they weigh every liquor bottle. Right. And then we let you run for two days. Mm -hmm. So at the end, I compare what they run 
to what they used. Okay. And it shows me the difference. Last weekend, they poured $6,500 worth of booze, mm -hmm. but they only took in $2,700. They lost $3,726 just this weekend. That was the weekend. This is the losses for the month. This is the losses for the year. That's disaster. That is disaster. That's disaster. They blew it. You damn right. Hey, blood, you, you ready to do a live performance? No, I don't know. Y'all done turned him up, blood. What the? You got me up. OK, who got you up? Y'all want to hear some rap to hear me? Yeah, bitch, I'm from 2-3. They call me Big 2-3. I mean, his freestyle was just weak. Tell your bitch she can suck this Man. Problem is that there's a woman sitting there with her mother. Now what? And he's talking about a blowjob. Not only that, but he done put them dirty ass butt cheeks all on the bar. You don't want to hear my music? Get the f out. It's my bar right now. Shut your ass up. What the hell is he doing? Nah, that's over the top. Do you think that's cool? Nah, hell nah, that ain't. Shit, that's a case waiting to happen. Right, exactly right. We got to run this more like a team, less like a family. Does that make sense? Yeah. Everybody's got to hold up their own. Everybody's got to freaking deliver. Or as a team, we lose. You give them the opportunity. Now they got a freaking season. That's what time it is. That's what time it is. It's so time like, to season. Hey, you might have been a, you might have been all right coaching the league. <laughs> you got me ready to go and bust some up the heads right now. I want to go. Let's go and talk to them. Ah, ah, yo, cause yo, ain't. She ain't. Sh no, we won't. Cause I don't do that. You know what? That's the way. We won't. Excuse me, you busy? Oh. I'm busy, hell yeah, I'm busy. Let's talk to him for a second. How long does it take to pick this up? Pick this has been up? sitting here for a half hour. How long does it take to pick those up? Hold on, I'm not I'm done. I'm saying it. How about picking this up, for Christ's sakes? So how many times do you walk by this and not pick up anything? You wait till they finish I don't eating. understand it. What wait, do you do on. here? Sir, so I'm the only person in here. Literally blowing for beer. <laughs> 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 what are we looking at? Maria! Have you guys not helped yet? No. No? Aren't you famous? Hmm? Are you famous? No. She looks like, um, oh my god. <laughs> What does she look like? Well, she looks she's like, like um, she looks okay, like, like Eva. No, she looks like Eva Mendez, and Eva Longoria had a baby. And then J-Lo came in the mess no, and put her in her spot. No, one girl. This is insane. This is a freak show. All right, let's do a shot. You're doing a nice shot. Lay down this way. We're doing a what? What's it? I guess you're doing an ass shot. <laughs> I mean, this is not funny. <laughs> no. It's you know what? Right. Come back and I come on, shut up. What's happening right now? Shut up. You're doing an ass shot. 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 This is crossing the line. I can't watch this. I would do the ass shot, but they bought you the ass shot. Honey, go right ahead. What, how do you do the ass shot? Oh my god. No, I didn't say it. Really, do it. Says John Tucker. Oh my god. Okay, our friend has arrived. All right, I'm out. Take it! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> what the f***? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Patrick, come here, please. Oh, 
What's wrong with you? I don't understand why you're allowing this. Oh, I tell them to do stuff and they don't listen to me. If you step up, maybe they would listen to you. Where's your mom? I'm talking to him right now. Go away. Just go sit down in a corner or something and you go call your mother. Go call mommy, Patrick. Patrick is being abused as a professional and she's the one doing it and he doesn't step up for himself. I'm gonna step up for him. Absolutely. In addition to the cameras that have been following the pirate staff, hidden cameras have been placed around the bar to capture Nicole's recon. My first impression heading into pirates is they're really in their own little world here. There are some phallic symbols in the back. The waitresses are pouring out of their shirts. All of our drinks are listed in the first couple of pages, including our wine list. So I ordered a glass of wine off the menu. This is my personal choice, so it's Armour Low. It's a very good one. The staff was very friendly, almost overly friendly, like as if they were trying to cover up for something else. Hello. Do you need any this? Can I get you anything else? Are you good with that? At some point throughout the night, almost every employee came up to me to find out what I was doing. There's anything else I can do to help facilitate your I think these people know who I am. I've been made. Not good. So I just got up and walked out. Have yourself a nice night, all right? Thank you. Come again. With Nicole being made by the pirate staff, she was unable to get a true sense of the customer experience inside. I knew Nicole would stick out like a sore thumb in this place, but I have a backup plan. Bill and Jen Rodenheiser owe me a favor, so I'm having them come out and be my spies tonight. Last year, John saved the chicken bone in Framingham, Massachusetts from certain demise. They, I am not gonna get true. people sick. Okay. You let it happen. I'm yep. fixing it. This is <laughs> bull John relaunched a new bar called The Bone and gave Bill and Jen Rodenheiser a second chance. John really helped us with our bar, so it was only natural to support him in doing this recon. But unlike Nicole, they are unable to get help from anybody on the staff. I wonder if anybody's here. Wait, there's a pirate. This is, Sorry, you want to just go back I there? Just go back there. Let's go back there. We were waiting for quite a while, so we sat down. Maybe we should, like, check in with someone. <laughs> this is kind of whacked. Sir, can we get some menus? Does anybody work Hi. here? Hi. Oh, just going to see yourselves whatever the you like. I know. Well, we Hi. were waiting and we're waiting. waiting and waiting. Yeah. There's only one of me and so many of you. It was it was odd. All right, so we're going to get some, let's start off with the grog. A regular or top shelf. All depends on how groggy you want to feel the next day. <laughs> I'd like to feel rather groggy, please. I think go with the regular, then. It was like a rum, soda, I don't know. Okay, so really bad. It was, um, it was nasty. What's the fresh cash? Fresh cash, uh, let me check. Just you know, fresh cash today, mahi? Yeah. Yeah, mahi, yes, mahi. Fresh mahi is fresh. Yes, Okay. Mahi is fresh. The fresh catch was like frozen, I don't know, pond bass or something like that. It was nasty. Oh my god, that's just, that was so gross. It was a disgusting chunk of white, smelly, I couldn't even take a bite. This sucks. Is this um, your grog? It is. We're honestly struggling a little bit. Is this fresh? That's got to be frozen fish. Is it frozen? If it's the mahi entree, it is, yeah. It's frozen. Oh, well, it wasn't put on the plate. It wasn't put on the grill frozen. This really was a terrible, terrible dining experience. The, the worst I've ever had was horrid. We just got to get out of here. Just, just we need, just, yeah. yeah. He should be bringing you back the bill, and I did take some stuff off your bill, and I apologize that things weren't up to par. We're working on it. After an hour inside Pirate's Tavern, Bill and Jen emerged to report their findings. First of all, thanks for doing this for me, guys. Absolutely. What'd you think? It's tough in there. The staff was really odd. It was uncomfortable. How bad was the food? The food was disgusting. There was a mahi, and it was supposed to be fresh. They were frozen products. No truth in menu. What'd you have to drink? I started off with the grog, and I mean, it was just, it was disgusting. I think that they really believe that's a good product to be serving. So you think they think they did it right? I do believe that, wow. yes. Well, I'll tell you guys, this is a strange one, because it runs deep. It's more than just food, <laughs> more than just beverages. There's a cultural thing in this business that's killing it. All right, guys, I'm going to work. All right. I'll see you. Take care.
Fairways Golf and Grill. Doesn't say bar. Looks like a golf store, doesn't it? Absolutely. John is joined in the SUV by Steve Blovat, a professional health inspector. Can I get for you all to drink? Margarita, Bloody Mary, Whiskey Sour, uh, Bay Breeze, Mojito, Irish Coffee. Irish Coffee, you said? Yeah. I ordered a series of drinks. Every bartender should know how to make them. We're going to do uh, three Fairway burgers and then one of everything else. Okay. Beautiful. It's yeah. gonna be a minute. <laughs> oh, man. This is ridiculous. Look at this guy, he's freaking out here. This place sucks. Bloody Mary. Thank you. Margarita. Really, awesome. really good. Awesome. Look at Michelle standing behind the bar. She's handling through all of that. Could you pour me a dark as beer? Absolutely. That'd be awesome. There are bugs in the bar, too. Oh, boy. Clearly has raw product, raw pork, mind you. What raw food is he touching now? <laughs> There's no sanitation. There's no hand washing, there's no gloves being used, there's no separation from raw to cooked product. I don't know how he lasted eight months. Look at look, that bowl. Oh, look at that. That bowl has not been cleaned since this place opened. The pea drop. Oh. And they're putting that over food. This is inexcusable, absolutely. It's just pouring the profit away. Right off. Right, and the keg is kicked. Cake. Are you kidding? You don't have another cake. Mm -mm. Look, everything goes in the frosted no way. And then look at the over. Holy <laughs> the first thing that hit my tongue was a very, very hard metallic taste. Oh, oh dude, that's bad. Right when it hit the bottom of my stomach, I knew something was wrong. My stomach started curdling. Beer starts to go bad after around three months. So I'm thinking the cake had to have been sitting there for at least a year. Any chance you can check on some food for me to see how, how we're doing? I am. We're 29 minutes in. Okay. Don't growl at me. I'm just wondering how long he's asking. One person. See, here comes the food for Chef Duffy. We got some chips and queso and some chips and salsa. Fried mushrooms. Fried mushrooms. Very nice. Hey, Michelle, do you have a bathroom? Do we have a bathroom? Where's your bathroom? Um, right back there to the left. Dude, I think this might come up right now. Fairways, fairways burgers? Three fairways, medium. Yes. Yes, sir. Just so you know, medium doesn't bleed, so I got bloody medium. You guys make your own salsa in-house? We do. You do. Oh, my god, he threw up. Caitlin, did you see where my buddy went, by chance? Here's I'll go check. check. For me. Thank you very much. I think you got my boy sick. <laughs> One sip of beer made this guy throw up. Dude's throwing up. The what? Dude's throwing up in the bathroom. Off of what? I don't know. We took out the chips and salsa and stuff, and now he's throwing up. Oh, that's <laughs> What's wrong with salsa? Ain't nothing wrong with salsa. Kevin's an excellent cook. His focus on making great food, I think he can be an excellent asset. You've done this for 14 years? I've never seen anything like this before. This is ridiculous. This guy should be shut the hell down. Let's, Let's go. go in there. So what's interesting about this club is it's a members only club. Okay. So if you walked up to it, Tony, without a membership card they, tonight, they wouldn't let me in. This club was grandfathered in to allow smoking in a state that doesn't allow smoking. Okay. But 21.8% of the population smokes here, which is the highest concentration of smokers in America. Wow. And it's the only smoking establishment in this area when you consider them. We see this as an asset, mm -hmm. and we work with it. Right. So there's our owner, Bill. This is the guy who tells the staff to overpour. It's the perfect illustration of the responsibility. Mm -hmm. There's Ryan, that's Bill's son. Wait. He only works here part time. Do you want the whiskey chilled or warm? There's Liz. She's the managing partner. She supposedly has some equity in the business and has an arrangement with Bill, the owner, to buy it over a period of time. Happy birthday. 
There's Shauna, drinking behind the bar. She's one of your bartenders. OK. And smoking a cigarette smoking. behind the bar. Yeah. It's against health code. There's no smoking allowed, yeah. right, Tony? It's not yeah. even debatable. It's oh. A cigarette holding oh. over the right beer above glass. The beer. Mm. I don't give a if the customers are allowed to smoke in that room. The employees are not. No. That's right. That's totally inappropriate. Mm -hmm. So for recon, we're sending in right. nine members. Angela and Paul. John spies enter Casey's Bar and Grill, a 2,400 square foot space with a C-shaped bar with two speed wells and a makeshift kitchen in the back. Can I help you? Two fireballs and a bus Yes. In addition to the cameras following Casey's staff, surveillance cameras have been placed around the bar for John to observe the service from a customer's point of view. And there's Albert working the door. Let's see how they greet them. You guys got a membership with you? No. You guys actually have to have a membership. We just want to get a drink or whatever. We're not allowed to do that. We need to just say it's uh, That's ridiculous. Say it, but here's how to be a member. Say it. I know, man. It's the rules of being a private club. You have to be a member. Right. Say it. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. All right, whatever, man. Yeah, nothing. All he had to do was say, I can't wait to you in tonight, but being a member is really easy. He could have gotten two members. Yep. They're never coming back. They didn't seem like they want new people coming in. We're good paying customers, so they're basically turning away business. <laughs> so guys, we got two locals from the members list. Eric and Brandy used to do recon for us. I'm dying to see what happens here tonight. I'm in the mood for a dirty martini. <laughs> this place is a joke. Just keep on point. <laughs> you don't need to over pour to make someone buzz and happy. Make him a good drink. And a pint glass, Tony. You see that? It's huge. So either there's an obscene amount of liquor in that, or it's olive juice. Way One too of the much. two. Oh, she's putting her hand. Oh, oh she's the same hand she was in smoking with. Oh, handling money. Can you do it without the ice? Just switch it to another glass. You don't want ice? No. Whenever I order a martini, I expect it to be up unless I request it to be on the rocks. So she just dumped that all into a glass. Yeah, I'll take them out. That's cool. <laughs> now the customer has to reach in and get that all out. That's just lazy. Oh. I think Ryan's got it. Martini is crap. Oh, she doesn't like it. I would have walked out by now. Shauna. I want an order of mozzarella sticks, a couple of um, Swiss and bacon burgers, medium rare. Yeah, guarantee you, medium rare, medium. Well, whatever. That's cooking 101. Right. All right, so we got a few hamburgers going down. Do you see the fryer? I do. It's bubbling. <laughs> there is a layer of gunk on the bottom of that fryer that is not allowing it to fry properly. There's that. OK, well, she's eating. Look at that look on her face. Yeah, she's chewing that over. Oh, you know how when you have that mozzarella that's so hard? She can barely swallow this. <laughs> Why is she still chewing? She's been chewing 20 seconds. 30 seconds. The same bite. Hold on. This is a world-class chew. She's in 40 <laughs> seconds. So we're going to make a minute. The one-minute no, chew. Sure no, yes! No. The one-minute chew! <laughs> I'm not sure I can eat that. Maybe the burgers will be better. Hopefully. Uh. How are you doing, Shelly? You ready for a beer? Thank you. I'm almost certain we ordered bacon cheeseburgers, right? Oh, yeah, we did. No bacon. Oh. The great chunk of meat. Because it wasn't cooking properly. It's not high enough. I'm not impressed. No. Not by a long shot. I'm not going to eat that. Anything else you guys want? That's not normal. Look at her. She's just angry and pissed. Look at her face. Shauna. Absolutely. Shauna. She's done for the night. Can we get two kamikaze shots? She's really ignoring the customer right now. I'll make it. You stay over here. Liz jumped in. She's now making the kamikaze. Thanks, Liz. Anytime. Hi. She just looks up and on. Yes, she did. Look at them. They're in shock. And they're members. They paid for the right to be in this room. Whoa, <laughs> what just happened? That? Ooh. What? What the heck is that? Oh! oh.
Oh! A raccoon! Oh my god! Yes. yes. Oh. Wildlife in the bar. You might as well have rats crawling across the table. You know that thing is everywhere. Oh, All right, look! Raccoon! That is so unsanitary. Guys, I can't I can't look at this anymore. I'm done. Unbelievable! Raccoon! There's Crystal. She's one of the bartenders. There's another bartender, Sterling. She's really fast. You can hear it. I went to Flair bartending. Oh, she's feeling good. This is ridiculous. Hey, ladies, how are you? Hi, how are you? Can I get for you guys? Uh, can I get a whiskey soda? A whiskey soda? Yeah. Do you guys do margaritas? Um, we do, but I can only do it on the rocks. I can only do it on the rocks. So they don't use mixing cups. Use the soda machine to fill the drinks because they don't have soda guns. Oh my god. That's a first. Well, he originally bought this place as a pizza restaurant, so that soda tower is probably left over from that. Look at the bar. Do you see any plumbing? Wow. I see cubby holes. They have one three compartments in that they would wash things in. All the things we take for granted. Ice bins, Bye. speed wells, workstations, drain rails, drink rails. They don't have any of these things. There you go, darling. And I'm working on yours right now. Thank you so much. Um, what am I doing? How many different spots does she have to go to to make a drink? Right there. Good, how are you doing? There's a reason a bar set up the way it is. It keeps the bartender stationary, keeps them in front of the customer's face, and everything they need is in front of them. Every time you have to step away from that thing, it's costing you money because it's costing you time. They're spending more time running around than they are serving, and that's just not a recipe for success. Oh, is that going to be sweet? Look at the color of that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Would you like a drink, honey? Oh, yes. Oh, God. The second I took a sip out of this. That was the grossest drink I've ever had in my entire I life. I can't even describe <laughs> it. Sterling, need some beers over here. Yeah, have another drink, buddy. All his answers are in the bottom of that glass. Sorry, can we please have an order yeah, or food? Great. Um, I think I'm going to try the roast beef. OK. Can I do the turkey, ham, and cheese? Sure. And then um, can we split just a pepperoni pizza? Yeah. Okay, there it is, it printed. Oh my gosh, no one's in the kitchen. So we'll see how long it takes for them to cook this order. Is there, is there fresh popcorn or no? Look at the way he's dressed in his own bar. And as an owner, you should always dress a little better than your customers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I work in Irvine at 7 a.m. <laughs> I've seen a lot of things, but I ain't seen that. <laughs> wow. Okay, finally, she's here. See how many minutes in we are. Oh, we're 12 minutes in. 12 minutes in. Ew, what went in the microwave? Straight out the freezer. Plastic bag that of is, lunch meat? Yes, it's plastic. Oh, oh, look, it's about to. Oh Ooh, my gosh. Look at that. What is that? What's a that? scoop of powder and water. <gasps> what is she making? I think it is a jus. Oh, look at that roast beef. Oh! So she's bringing the meat to temperature that way. Oh! Oh, that's This gross. is going to kill somebody. You guys want small or tall? Tall. Tall? Three tall? <laughs> oh, he's doing a deal with them. Why isn't he doing something to make it better? That's what's bothering me, John, is that in any of this, it doesn't look like there's a fight. I mean, at least if my lights are turned off and I can't pay my bills, I would be working behind the bar, making sure everybody's good, improving anything I can. This guy's sitting down having a drink. Like, life is amazing. OK, finally. Turkey sandwich. And yours, the rest is coming right now. Oh, just one. Not not even both sandwiches were delivered. Never seen turkey like this is not turkey. Oh, uh, question. Yeah. I don't know. Does that look weird or am I just being weird? The turkey? They don't. Okay. 
turkey came out the freezer and went into the microwave. It's got to be like rubber. Yes. Yeah, I think it's fine. If it's going to take 30 minutes, it should be the best darn food you've ever had. How'd that pizza come out? Pizza looks so good. Uh, this is what we're out about. I don't know. What do you? Is that turkey? All right. Finally, it looks like Dave is actually doing something. I'll tell you. I'll tell you if it's all right. Good luck. Yeah, I mean, it tastes good. Nope. He's just going to eat their freaking sandwich. Are you getting up or what? No. What are they doing now? You want to light it? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to kill myself. Put it in there. Did you put it in there. Match in the no, do not put a match inside of a drink. Hey! Yeah. Okay. Oh. yeah! I just want to put a spear in my eyes. This is unbelievable. Too bad it's not mixed with anything. No, don't drink it. Hey! If he isn't going to get off his ass and help his wife get out of this mess, I'm gonna. I'm going in. All right. See you guys later. So for recon tonight, you know who I got? His wife. I don't know. When I agreed <laughs> to that, I wasn't watching this, pal. Hey, Call your wife. I've sent my wife into work. Oh, I know you have. So the logic was, we have to send somebody in who represents the market, not the bar. And it's who should be in this bar. Oh, boy. Good luck, baby. I love you. John's recon spies enter Rhythm and Breeze, a 1,600 square foot space featuring an L-shaped bar with two speed wells and a stage in the northwest corner of the building. In addition to the cameras following the Rhythm and Brews staff, surveillance cameras have been placed around the bar as John, Kate, and Chef Capon observe from the SUV. Do you have a drink list? We do not. There's Jolene. She's a bartender. What kind of wine do you have? I have no wine. No wine? No wine, no, no customers. These guys aren't catering to their market. They're beneath it. They need some high-end, sophisticated wines and spirits to capture their market. I can make margaritas right now. You want a Cosmo? Oh, margarita is perfect. Now, margarita is the most popular drink in America. Right. If a bartender can make anything. You better be able to make a margarita. <laughs> First of all, you never shake it with the glass up. The glass can go flying and hurt somebody. We're going to push it up against her body. She doesn't know how to separate it. Oh! So the glass that's been sitting on the bar, her hand went on it, she shook it with it, and now she's using it as a strainer. You actually can see people's facial muscles tighten from the sourness. Look, there it is. Oh. <laughs> it's two brothers that own this bar. They've owned it for 11 years. There's Steve. You can tell who Steve is. He's wearing a black shirt. There's his brother, Eric, who's in a blue shirt. Put it out. <laughs> They do well for a few years. Now, they're losing thousands of dollars a month. They're in debt 700000 and it gets worse. Can I help you to your table? No, you can just give me this. They're letting everybody destroy their lives. They're doing nothing about saving themselves. There's Stu, a third brother. Uh, oh, wrong part. <laughs> well, I think of my mind, sorry. Look at this. There's a customer who just walked into the kitchen. That order with Raviolis. Ravioli, yeah. Look how comfortable he was walking in. You know he's walked through those doors. Of course he has. Not the first time. Oh, I had a ravioli. Where's a ravioli? This guy is a doormat. He's being walked all over. These guys are the biggest wimps in the world. Hey, Eric. Eric. Look at a huge do not enter sign. Do what not a enter. Joke. Well, they got a pizza oven. Yeah, you know how many bars try to cook pizza without a pizza oven? That's an asset in a bar business. It's a beautiful piece of equipment. Low cost. High profit? There's a tank. That's Pablo. Put in the sauce cheese? over the cheese. Have you ever seen the cheese go on before the sauce? No. The sauce is going to burn, well, and the cheese won't brown. This guy is ass backwards. Is that exposed countertop? That's the rusted freezer. That's the top of a residential top load freezer. You know how that gets like that? Somebody either sitting on it or sleeping on it. That doesn't happen. What the hell is that? <sighs> There's icicles. Is that insulation? What is that? Oh my God. Where do you think all that insulation is in the food? And that's not wrapped up. Oh. Fiberglass is made from glass that's pulled into thin fibers. 
If it gets into food, it could kill somebody. It's incredibly dangerous. Fiberglass should be nowhere near food. Look at this freaking guy. Unbelievable. He's grabbing his own chicken fingers or mozzarella sticks, whatever it is, and throwing it in the fryer. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish my order first, please. Poor guy. What happens if they burn themselves? They get sued for a couple million. Come on, seriously. Yeah. He's working. I'm almost done. What are you making? Why don't you let him make it? Because I like making it myself. They don't care. It's a free for all. New York burgers. You don't get them nowhere else. Uh, no more meat. All the they customers took all the beef. Yeah. The other people ate everything, so it's no more. That's it. No more hamburgers. And this is not just today. This is all the time. And when I try to say son, they don't like it. They, f they think I'm the stupid. You know, it's unbelievable to me how these people walking in and out of this kitchen and cooking this food. If they could walk in the kitchen, why can't you? You probably could. Why don't you go in there and make us a pizza? You guys hungry? Yeah, go make us up. Can you believe what we're watching? <laughs> so he just walked right in. Look at it. Nobody says a word. Not a word. Hey, como esta? How are you, senor? Good. We could all be in there cooking. Yeah. What's your name? Pablo. Pablo? Yes. Let's make a pizza, Pablo. <sighs> Cheese goes on top of the sauce. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Excuse me. I'm out of your way, Pablo. Why, why you guys bother me today? Why you, everybody freaking. Yes, give me a loan, let me work, let me do my job, please. Amazing. Never seen anything like it. Okay, muchas gracias, all right? I'll see you later. Now, the only thing I would ever eat from this kitchen is a pizza, because it was brought up to 500 degrees, mm -hmm. and the fact is it's the only safe thing in the whole damn place. 10 minutes, you grew up? Well, I was born and raised in Brooklyn. Take a little pizza. See you later. Just walked right out with a pizza. No one said a word. Took the pan, too. <laughs> hey, did you guys order a pizza? I made you a beautiful pizza. It's a bar rescue first. It's the first time I have ever been able to send a chef into another restaurant, walk into their kitchen, cook us a meal, and bring it out. Bring it out. Why don't we have a slice of pizza, everybody? Come on. You know, the basic dough is OK. And the oven works like a charm. The oven was nice and hot. And he actually cleaned it out for me, Pablo. You know how many bars we'd kill for That's that oven? Just... Yeah, I would. So, we have never had owners get walked on like this. Clientele's killing the business, and they're disrespectful. Every year, the nicer customers left. Yep. So now you're fostering the clientele that doesn't want to spend high-end money. They don't really care about your establishment, and that's all you have left. I feel bad. I'm a bad husband right now. Hmm. Can you guys just try to behave a little bit? Oh my goodness! Are you fing kidding me? Stupidness. That's stupidness, all right? I expect a tough rescue, that's why I'm here. I did not expect owners that are clearly not doing anything to run their business. I've had this place under surveillance for three days. As a professional, you are not gonna believe what you're about to see. Watch this. So there's Scott and Donna, husband and wife. There's the daughter Aaliyah, 21 years old, is trying to save this place. But here's the kicker, Russell. They're driving a motorcycle in. In an enclosed space with food around with carbon monoxide. That engine is running. This guy's burning rubber inside the bar. Do not let people go stupid. And they're excited about it. I don't think I've ever seen that before. This is going to be a rough one, man. Well, Russell, I wanted to give us a good recount. I got us some tourist who's going to go in and sit at the bar. The future of this bar lies in Interstate 17. That's where the gold is, because there's no town here to support this bar. Hopefully, we'll get some good information from this. These owners always have a drink in their hands, don't they? But it's nobody else's. It's their own, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Lovers, camp haters. <laughs> Hi there. How you doing? What can I get you today? With the beer in her hand, too. That's our tradition out here. Once one person does it, they all got to do it. Look at this pour. Every time she uses one of those cups, she's pouring like two to three ounces. That's almost a full bottle of alcohol. Scott, fireball. 
Wow, how uncomfortable she looks. A bar like this that's on an interstate has to be able to target multiple age groups. Think of the hundreds of guests that have had that experience and not come back here. Want to talk dirty to me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I can think of something else we'd go do. In the back somewhere. <laughs> I'll do the barbecue Barbie chicken here. Dinner? Okay. Yeah. Turn me sideways. Bend me like a pretzel. <laughs> I feel like my vagina is a pretzel. <laughs> I can't stand her. She's rude. She's obnoxious. That bartender's name is Yum Yum. And she's drinking too. I got to get a cigarette. Okay. I got to get a cigarette. What the hell? Are you in a bad mood, Aaliyah? Oh, I will be now. And there's the owner, another shot. Another shot. Quite a bit of alcohol to push back in one swallow. It's not even 9 o'clock, Russell. Can we have shot, 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 shot? You can. Now I want to see in the kitchen. That's Tommy, the kitchen manager. And he's doing prep in the middle of dinner. And that's Matt, the line cook. How much longer on my barbecue chicken? It'll be ready in just a minute. Look at this. They dunked it in barbecue sauce. So it's not real barbecue. It's barbecue flavored food. This sign on this building says badass barbecue. There is no barbecue here. Just doused in barbecue sauce. Let's see what she thinks of it. All right. Well, covered. It was really just jar of sauce on your chicken. It was horrible. We ate dinner here last night, and I had to do the same thing. I had to sit it back and get something else. How's everything tasting? It's very heavily covered well, in barbecue. Okay. You want me to get you something else? What the hell? This is Black Canyon City. There's some people that are mad about their food. I'm going to buy them some shots of like, do it. She's mad about her food. Are you buying her another shot? What does she need? You are mad about your food, too? Yeah, she well, didn't like it. Can we get her a shot too? Oh, I don't need one. This is really not a good way to fix our food, but let's have fun with it. Jesus. I really just wanted to sit down, maybe have a glass of water. Not really a hard liquor drink. Just a little too much for me to handle, especially since I told them I was driving. Hey! How loud that owner is. It's loud and obnoxious. Shot, shot, shot. What happened? Holy oh, 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 my God. That's why you're not supposed to have damn horses in the bar. What would have happened if that horse broke in their leg? That's disgusting. <laughs> and she's laughing. She thinks this is funny. Oh, Look, I got so scared it, like, pooped. Oh, he crapped on the floor. Oh. You almost fell on my table. I'm sitting there going, this ain't his first rodeo. We've all done this one before. Scott's rode a horse in the bar. Everybody's rode a horse in the bar. You rode a horse in the bar when you're pissed, mother mom. He's asking, we just saw a horse crap on the floor in a bar. I'm going in. I gotta go to work, man. I'll see you inside later. Good luck, John. Okay, we're gonna do a shot. There's JJ. Hands up, hands down. There's Tammy. Yes, this is Tam Tam. Yeah. I've never worked in a bar where you're allowed to drink. It's completely illegal. Hey, who wants a shot? <laughs> They're violating nudity laws. They're drinking behind the bar, which is illegal. Right, right. This is a disaster. I was very, very thrown by all the nudity. It was way too much for me on a random Tuesday to see. You know, what is Tiffany doing right now? I don't know what you're supposed to Unfortunately, do. I'm not sure she knows how to deal with it. Have you seen them charge anyone for a drink tonight? No wonder they're losing so much money. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely okay. Look at how drunk she is. Awesome. The pizza's here. All right. Wish me luck. Here. You're going to need it. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. All of them are in here, huh? Yeah. All right, here we go. Free pizza, anybody? <laughs> They're applauding for a slice of frickin' pizza. Tells you they're hungry, that's for sure. All 15 gone, by the way. Yeah, you got it, man, you got it. I just delivered 15 pizzas to this bar. I'm the best thing, hands down, that this bar has seen in years. You would have thought I was giving away millions of dollars. People are taking the food, John, left and right. Would they pay $3 a slice? You bet your ass they would. Absolutely. But the one thing they would do is drink another beer, that's for sure. Free show! Free show! Free show! Okay. 
Oh, look at this. Our owner should be removing her from the <laughs> building. Now, where's Tiffany? Hanging out in the kitchen. Oblivious to what it is that's going on. This is outrageously disgusting. I'm going inside, guys. And my nipples out. Tiffany. Yes, hi. I'm so terrified right now. What is going on here? This is a freak show. I agree, and I am embarrassed for them. But you let it happen. So why are you less sleazy than them? It's the only thing that makes any money around here. So you approve this? No, I don't approve it whatsoever. But yet they're doing it in your presence. I just don't know how to control it. So this bar has robbed your fortune, your work, and your dignity. It's disgusting, I know. No, you're disgusting if you don't change it. Do you have the courage to deal with this? It's hard. How long may you have before you're out of money? No, I'm out of money. Do you have any kids? Actually, kids. What's going to happen with your kids? I mean, what's going to happen? You're in debt. I can't help you if you don't help yourself. Do you understand that? I'm, yes. Who is the worst offender to you? Well, that would be Tam Tam. Tam Tam. I'm definitely not going to drink out of this cup. Let me explain the concept of landmark fire. You pick the worst employee in the building. You terminate them. And it sends a message to everyone else that you're not messing around anymore. If you had the courage to do that, I could help you. So I am going to leave. I expect you to take control, but I will not help you if you don't show me you can help yourself. Do you understand that? Yes. OK, well, you need to do what you have to. I will. Do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, my god. For the sake of the bar, I'm gonna have to fire you. I'm sorry. I was working when the other bartenders were sitting there drinking, not doing <laughs> Someone get her out of the bar. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Mondal Lab. Come on in. Yeah. All right. Read them. How you doing? How's it going? Yeah. Regal Apple? Can you try this for me? Yes, of course. Make sure it's going right. Thank you. Close it up. Oh, we got two chips. Game on. Lemon juice was half ounce. Yeah. Uh, totally screwed that one up. You guys just keep costing me money and wasting time. Awesome. Different. How are we doing? I think we're going to be hard pressed to hit our 110 drinks in 55 minutes with this crew. How can I help you? Uh, you know, I'm okay. You're good. Just okay. Stay out of the way. All right, Zach, straw, garnish. It's not my bar, so you got a chip, you got a drink. All right, it's $27. Boom. Free drinks. Boom. Doug gave for this free to what was odd was the guy next to us had to pay. Free drinks, yeah! 
Don't forget about glassware, buddy, and hit the tables, please. Right now. I'm gonna put that right back there. <laughs> You got it. Dog, you didn't model. I haven't gotten there yet. You get there first. So how many are you making here, Doug? Making four. So why aren't you doubling up? I would have done two in one glass and two in the other glass. It's hard when you double them up. It might be better for us to make them to order. <laughs> Doug has an attitude. And he has no reason to. Heads up. And the more I corrected him, the more mistakes he would make. We got dirty ice, Ben. You gotta get those raspberries out of his ice, otherwise they're going in all of his other cocktails. I'm sharing a well with you, and mine's getting burned. You're getting yours getting burned? Yep. You make me too. Free drinks for you guys. Enjoy them. Greg. Yes, sir. Doug served eight drinks and not collected money. Okay. So what he's doing, it could be quick. He's just not collecting money. So, so he's giving the place away. Doug, you're not collecting money for this. It happens one more time, I will fire you. Do you understand that? You'll never walk in this building again. And you should have seen it. Here we go, ladies. You're welcome. Guys, we have 22 minutes left. Who has not gotten a second drink? Guys, you got 22 minutes. Look at this. You're screwed. You are not going to do this, guys. Greg, do this. You looked at me and said, piece of cake. We can pull this off. Double up on the uh, on your mixes, OK? Yep. Like on your soda, soda, garnish, garnish, straw, straw. Come give me one of those. Thank you, sir. We're down to a minute, 30 seconds. All right, Angie, you got it. Soda, soda, garnish, garnish, straw, straw. Gonna make it the bell, dude. Two straws, and I'm over. There you go, buddy. All right, made it finish strong, dude. Good job. Let's go! Three, two, one, stop! How many of you got drinks that you didn't pay for? How many of you got drinks you did not pay for? From Doug. That's not acceptable. What are you going to do about it, Mr. Owner? Sorry, Doug, but you're going to have to go, dude. The good news is you don't have to clean your bar. You can just leave. Good night. Thanks. It's OK. All right. Pain in the ass. I think that it's 100%. I'm just one person. There's an entire team of guys in there slacking off or not doing things appropriately. It is Come on, baby, let's go. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. Spicy Storm remake over here. Yes, more okay. Spicy Storm. Isabella has right now. How's she doing? Isabella's not doing what she's supposed to be doing. She has a little attitude when I try to correct her. Nina, you've got some drinks out, huh? I'm surprised by her. She's already made four drinks versus her one and her one. Nina, you're making four drinks for their one. Keep going, girl. Keep going. Hustle. Keep moving. Let's go. Every one of these employees is on probation. Every one of them are fighting for their jobs tonight. Right now, Nini is making it as a bartender, and really, nobody else is worth a damn. I ordered my drink last. My friends didn't get there, and they ordered it before. And who was your bartender? The one shaking right now? Get off at the bar now. Seriously, right now. I don't understand. Why are you sending me home? You sat here. What do you mean? I've been here the Listen, Isabella, I need you to stop talking back. Seriously, right now. I don't understand. Am I getting sent home? Listen to me. Bella, get dressed and go home. It doesn't make any sense. Listen, I need to get dressed and go home. You guys don't make any sense here. It doesn't make any sense. What the f? They drink so much. What do you mean I drink too much? I only have like two shots. It doesn't make any sense. It's a bottle of yelling, you're not gonna solve anything! I don't know what we're gonna do. I went in trouble, buddy. Get the f out of here, son! Get the f out of here, son! Get your money and go, please! I don't understand why everybody's so mad at me for when I got everybody spending money. I'm all you got at Heat Now! Woo! 
understand what the problem is. I have people coming in, I have them spending money, I have them buying drinks. I, I really don't understand. I need it to get us. I know, everyone needs to get us right now. Back here is getting to be a cluster of Christine, stop freaking serving them. Jimmy and Christine are going at it with each other. Wow, you're freaking annoying right stop now. Stop it, stop. You're stressing me out. Am I the only one that's getting overloaded here? The dude is cool and he's up everything back here and he's really just in the way. So how long have you been waiting for drinks? It's like 10, 15 minutes. So is he in trouble for bringing you here? Um, not yet. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess, it's overwhelming. I'm outside dealing with all those people and I've put drinks up here but nothing's getting me. We have a bar that's so tight you can't move behind it. We don't have stations. We don't have systems. We don't have any ability to serve the guest. Brian, we have a first one. Hey, folks. How much you order? You know where these go? What does it say in the ticket? Why don't they, they need to travel with the ticket, right? The baskets come out without the check, so you don't know where the food goes. By the time the guest gets it, it's cold and it's too late. We're going 20 minutes on a quesadilla. Jimmy's been drinking back here this entire time. Whenever you drink behind the bar, you're putting liability on the bar itself because of your own judgment's impaired. You cannot judge what's going on out here. I've been standing here with an empty glass for about 15, 20 minutes and known uh, somebody to help. Listen, stop talking. You guys are talking. Shut the up. Yeah, I'm at the register. What else am I going to do? You're slowing the whole thing down. How many times has your husband said so that's the old Jimmy, still there, right? I made it clear to Jimmy this afternoon that he was to show discipline. <laughs> Mr. Hero is no hero to me. Listen to me. You say you to either of these bartenders one more time, I will embarrass your ass. And I'll tell you one thing. You take one drink, I'll fire you in front of everyone. You hear me? You take another drink, I'll fire your ass in front of your brothers. That's the deal. Who the are you talking to? I'm talking to you. You're failing because you're a Wow. Either he is leaving this bar now or I am. Jimmy, get the get out, of out of here. Nope. Oh, yeah. Jim. Yeah. Out. Bye. This is such bull. It's not my 100% my fault. I'm not leaving. I'm going in. Get the hey, out of here. Yeah. Now I'll leave. This could have been a big night for us. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. That's it. I'm done. Later. Adios. We have to run this bar and run it the right way. We can't operate this way. Everybody! I apologize, but you have to live. Jimmy is a nightmare and he can't control himself it's as hard as you would work and as hard as you might work he is going to cause this place to fail this is detroit we always have great music here and everybody's there to have a good time and hear some great music i can't really see the music from here this is really great. It is really good. sitting at the bar i couldn't really hear or see the music and as a musician you know i think the focus should be on the music Is anyone here? Is anyone here? Hello. I'm waving my hand. Hello. The bartender is four feet from them, and he won't even acknowledge them. Can someone help me over here? Yes, ma'am. What can I get for you, sir? I would like something fun, maybe a fun martini. What can I get for you, sir? Um, uh, something with bullets. OK, so what is this guy doing? He's pouring out of a bottle that doesn't have a pour spout. Made a drink in the sink where the dirty dishes go. He's turning his back to the guests when he's making their drinks. I like to see my drink made in front of me. You don't know what he's pouring or what he's putting in it. Your, your drink looks awful. Thank you, sir. Oh, hit Robert's face. A little bit sweet. They don't like the drinks. He is doing every single thing wrong. This whole order just came back. It's supposed to have been 
Crown Royal. Those are Crown Royals. I know what I put. That's Crown Royal. This is ginger ale. Now, Robert and Jill are watching this. They're having this argument, not in front of them, across them. You have See, cranberry this juice is right cranberry juice. With the OK, well, I told you Tamika made them, so. Oh, I'd have mercy. I'll tell you what, you'll be making these drinks yourself. I'll tell you what, I'll do a better job. I doubt it. Look at Robert. He would never come back to no. a bar like this. So I have no idea when our food will probably come out. So can you just give us a status of our order? I still okay. have my drink. That table has been waiting for their drinks almost 40 minutes. OK, just, but Tamika would take care of it. Okay. No, Tamika would take I, care that I was part of me taking no. care of it. Tamika is supposed to be running this place. Can I get a drink, bro? Where's Matt? This has been here for like 45 minutes, and I still have it. Right. Do you remember his drink? What did he have? Some apple pucker mixed with whiskey. OK, what about it? No, I'm here for five minutes. Sir. Don't say nothing to me. Sir, I did not see you standing there. You saw me walk back and forth like hey, three times. Oh, man, you ain't got to get loud with me, bro, because first of all, I'm not a kid. Uh-oh. Excuse me. I ain't a kid either, bro. I've been so, standing there so for like five bro. minutes. He's going to cross the bar. He's aggressive to the guest. Hey. I'm going to go in, guys. No, no, we we no. can take care of this, bro. Hey, hey. Let me grab you for a second. Take two seconds. Let me go out and see what kind of damage we got on the other side. So there's no bartender back here. What should I do? I could probably make a far better drink than this guy made, don't you agree? Yeah. Where's your bartender? He's right there. Question. Do you always have an attitude like this? Like what? I got a gentleman sitting at the bar. His name is Robert Hurst. Right there. Seven-time Grammy winner jazz bassist. <laughs> the kind of customer you dream about. And you're arguing with the waitress across from him then a customer complains to you, then you cross the bar and are aggressive to him. What's wrong with your attitude? Ain't wrong with my attitude. What's wrong with your attitude? What's wrong with my attitude is you. No, you got you the owner attitude. owner who's losing $8,000 for month. ain't because of me. And you're being an ass. It ain't because of me. Oh, I think it is. Oh, I think it's not. Well, I think it is. I think it's and not. And I know better than you. Well, that's your job. Exactly right. And I'm telling you, you're a piece of with a lousy attitude. Yeah, yeah. Well, you's a bastard with a lousy attitude. That's OK. Now what? I got money now in my what? pocket. You so what? what? got money in my pocket, you know. You're no. hurting the owner of this bar. Great, great. Get the Nice to meet you. I am sorry to apologize. Your bartender, Dre, everything he poured was wrong. His attitude is wrong. And your life is on the line. And you're losing $8,500 a month here. Yes. OK, I'm here to help you. But I've got to ask you a question as a psychologist. Mm -hmm. If a patient has something toxic in their lives, what do you do with it? Cut it out. Now, this bar is your patient. You have to remove what is toxic. OK, do what you got to do. Thank you. Dre, walk and talk with me. What just happened at the bar was totally, totally you know, unacceptable. I, I'm a man before anything. I don't care about none of that. He's a getting in my face telling me I'm a piece of Listen, I can't have this. I got to fire you. I got, I got my family to take care of. Are you serious? Deuces. I don't give how much money you got or who the you are. At the end of the day, even if the President got in my face and said that I'll tell him the same thing. All right, here we go. Start that clock. Let's go, everybody. Slam them. Welcome to Pros, everybody. We have three drinks tonight. We have the punch, the sidecar, and the fuzzy pea. Irma, you got two tacos, two burgers, two catfish. Three sidecars and a punch. Runner! Can she focus on production and moving the product? Because if she can move product faster, she will make you more money. That's true. Let me take care of you. So you want a sidecar, you want a punch, and you want burgers. Yes, and I want two sidecars. OK, gotcha. Now, instead of making one sidecar, you should have said, hey, who else wants a sidecar? Anybody else want a sidecar? Oh, now it's too late. Keisha, look at this. We're falling behind. I think we have a problem. We 
Captain was having runners. I brought her catfish, tacos, and the sliders, and received zero. You gotta move so much faster than you're moving right now. Yes. 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 Falling apart here. Come on. Get this I know. product out. Keisha, oh, she hasn't checked in in her kitchen. She's interacting with the customers, but the fact is she is not making you more money. And neither is Nina with that attitude. Oh, because I keep making the thing. OK, the cat Keisha, is get these last drinks out. Four, three, two, one. That's it. Finish those drinks up. Let's get the bar set for the next round. Laura is up next. Let's go. Bob, you need to make sure the tabs are closed. Close up the tabs. Uh-oh. They need to take multiple orders. Multiple orders. Multiple, multiple, multiple. You need to make another punch. I'm dumping this. We're doing it again. <sighs> Mother <laughs> Woo, that ticket's been in for 20 minutes. Got to have the order sitting here. I need runners! If you can get somebody out on the floor, there's people sitting at tables that are not being served. She can't manage. No. She doesn't know what's going on. She doesn't know what tables to serve, what aren't. She know how to make the drinks. Drinks will get out fast, and they won't be waiting. That fish is almost done. Here you go. Oh, Jesus. It took you 12 minutes to get this man a drink. Nina, you can't give drinks out and not ring up. I need a break already. Who doesn't have drinks down here? Look at this. 10 seconds. That's a start. Start, start. Five. five you got to start four, that over with. Three, two, one. I'm not. One. We served about 15 people in 20 minutes. Now let's see, Bobby, if you can do any better. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Pros. Where, where can I get you guys of anything? We have three drinks tonight. One burger, one beef taco. Let's go. I got a Ciroc punch and a beef slider. I need four catfish, one slider, one taco. Three minutes and not one drink across the bar. Let's go, ladies. Let's go, ladies. Let's get some drinks out. And why are you pouring down here? Now you're hiding the drink from them. You know how to bartend. Rock this out. Let's go. Yeah, I might hurt too much. I'm getting so much attitude from Nina. I'm about to just get her out of the bar. <laughs> Nina did not ring up one drink. I had one catfish. I had two catfish. Oh, look. Oh, we lost a fish. I'll take care of that. The whole purpose of management when you're dealing with production is speed, speed, speed. If you get drinks out 10 seconds quicker, you're going to make roughly 10, 15 percent more money. I got five punches. I'm going to make all of y'all punches right here. Great manager. Goes where he's needed. And there he is. Plug it in. Go, Bobby. I like that. Bobby is working today. Woo! Nice to see everybody's got a drink. Let's We're go. moving along nicely here. Bobby behind the bar. Covers almost the whole room, gets a table served. We got food out of the kitchen. He was the only person picking up food back there. I mean, he was running. Five, four, three, two. I got another catfish. One. I got another catfish at one. That was a little short. Sorry, y'all. Staff, come on over. So, tell them how we did for this shift. OK, Keisha, 508. Laura managing shift in dollar with a total of $176. Bobby did a total of sales of um, 627. So you need a GM, right? Yeah. Who's your man? Bobby. I appreciate you trusting me, man. Yeah, I feel happy that Bradley made some money. I'm glad I pleased him. I want to live up to his expectation and his trust for me. So, tell him what you told me. Nina, you weren't paying attention to the customer. You don't want respect with everybody. You had no attitude. Why are you pouring down here? Now you're hiding the drink from them. You know how to bartend. Rock this out. Let's go. Oh, my God. I might hurt too much. Nina served several drinks. Nina never went to that register one time, never charged anybody. So every drink Nina made and put out, it was free. I gave away three drinks. I'm not dealing with it no more. Nina, I'm going to release you from pros. OK. Nina, you fired. Kill yourself. Pack up. Let's go. Mm. Nina wasn't just a bartender. She was a friend. But this is my business. I'm not here to lose anymore. Nina's gone. He had standards tonight, didn't he? Yeah. You made a decision to move yourself forward. Yes. Let's go, guys. Don't forget this side. I'm getting too many people getting the wrong drinks. I need more pineapple. Where's Gary? Gary, we need more pineapple, too. Family's being a little rough on you. I need you to step up right now. 
or do you need me to do? You manage, and I believe in you, okay? Come on, guys, you can help these bartenders. Come on, cheer them on, let's go! Come on, guys! Let's go! That's right, come on! Everybody just needs to become a team, you know, and who teaches a team? The manager. I'm sorry, and I like Gary, but to me, he's not a manager. Let's go! Come on, the lead is falling. Come on, guys, we're sinking faster and faster let's here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's, let's go. go! Thank you, look at this! Look at this, Phil. We're up at four and a half pounds. Come on, girls! Come on, ladies, shake. They crossed seven pounds, they fail. Go, go, go! Let's go! Anna, what do you need? Where's Gary? Hey, Gary, they're getting, they're getting close to the seven pounds. They're slow. Come on, guys, we're getting close to seven pounds. Gary, you know how to make drinks? Uh, no, I wasn't trained today on that. Okay. This is terrible. This is not service to me. Not at all. First drink up in 45 minutes. Good job, guys. There you go. There's a the long pour. That's what I was May looking I please for. get another pint out? I need another rum. Gary, we need help. We need cups. We need things. We have lines. We need pineapple. We need ice. Gary, see if you can get some people moved around, serve some drinks, do something. Hey, Gary, I'll take your drinks. <laughs> take me out of here. You're doing okay. You're doing great. Right, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm already taking my wire off. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Don't leave. I'm done. I'm not having everybody bad mouth me. I have your sister and another sister against me. Would you quit on my dad? Right now I am because I'm very frustrated. And your father would walk away too if he felt humiliated. So you're going to quit? You're going to quit on me right now. You understand you're being manipulated. That there's every excuse to blame it on. You see what I is. don't need a excuse to you to hand to anybody out here. Manny, look at this. Is this your formula for success, really? If I walk back inside that bar and you don't follow me, don't ever show your face again. Hey, Gary in here. Forget it. Where's the manager? I'm not going back in. John Taffer, I'm done. So we are now at almost nine pounds. Nine pounds of failure. And it's not your fault, girls. You guys worked your butts off tonight. Those nine pounds belong to management, not you guys. You hear me? Come back in three days and we have a bar that does serve you well, OK? Thank you for coming out to the bridge. Have a good one. Gary didn't follow me back in. He's a quitter. And on top of that, he's not a good manager. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.